The Seekers, they're up there with the Rolling Stones as one of the longest surviving bands and like the Stones, they happen to be in the country at the moment. Indeed, however, we were a little surprised when their promoters called and told us the Seekers tour here, you ready for this? The Seekers tour here has sold more tickets than Miley Cyrus when she was here a couple of weeks ago. Hmm, so we thought given it's become a competition, we should see what they think of her and boy were they honest. They spoke to Heather. Oh, don't be fooled by their gentle, inoffensive music. The Seekers got some attitude. Listen up, Miley. So what a pity for all these Miley Cyruses and everything yeah. that they think they have to do these things where maybe their talent could stand alone. That's and right. their songs maybe could stand alone. Who will ever know? We're talking about this carry-on, Miley. Shameful. Those are the things of gimmicks, you know, like in our day, all we ever did was stand up and sense. And you were simply judged on that and the song. And good luck to the kids that get a break, but uh, I don't know how many of them you're going to hear of in 50 years' time without being stupid about it. Do you think we'll hear about Miley Cyrus in 50 years? <laughs> I Who? guess Who? the honest answer to that, uh, no. Oh yes, Miley, you could do worse than take advice from this lot. They have made the 50-year mark. And back in the day, with all their hits, they were bigger than the Beatles. <laughs> Just look at the crowd in New Plymouth in 68. And they set an audience record there that stood for four decades. And they're charming. Listen to how much they love us. What I would like to say is that the New Zealand vegetables taste the best anyway. Oh, well, there you go. They are fabulous. We're not there leaving anything <laughs> yes. out today. No. 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 <laughs> we so, love everything about Honey, manuka, honey, manuka. The, the wine, manuka, honey. the honey, the milk. Um, the people, the music, <laughs> the, the weather. <laughs> Oops, no. <laughs> now, Seekers fans out there, you'll probably know Judith had a bit of a health scare with a brain hemorrhage last year. Did you know she even forgot how to write? But I wanted to remind myself to ask somebody to get me some soya milk because I don't drink normally milk. And I couldn't think how to write the word. And it took me like half an hour to write the <laughs> S-O-Y. Funnily enough, Judith had no such trouble remembering the old songs. And chances are, neither do you, even 50 years on. Take that, Miley. Of all the times I've heard an interviewer ask famous people what they think yeah. of New Zealand, I've never heard anyone the old vegetable pay a answer. compliment like that. Never said I love the vegetables here. Mm. Uh, and, uh, I don't want to do a self-promotion thing, but do you know what I did today that was a thrill for me? What? I interviewed Keith Richards. And I've never interviewed a Rolling Stone before. And, and, and one of the great things about it was you think to yourself, oh, geez, you know, he's a bit old, he's a bit, you know, might have fried his brain cells. He might not be. What a nice guy. What an unbelievable guy. Mm. Just a lovely bloke and a lovely, lovely chat. So it was um, so a highlight, you know, when you interview people all the time, every now and again, one of the greats comes along. Gold, he's fantastic. Radio gold.